there are a couple different ways that you can find the area of a hexagon. Uh, we have a formula the, for any regular polygon. This length from the center, the center of the inscribed or circumscribed circle. This length here is called the apothem. And it turns out the area is one half the apothem times the perimeter. Another way you can find the area of a regular polygon, remember that regular means all sides and angles are congruent, is you can find the area of one of these triangles and multiply it by the number of triangles. And you'll see if you connect the center with, with every vertex that there are one, two, three, four, five, six triangles. So find the area of one of those triangles and multiply by six. If it was a pentagon, a regular pentagon, you'd find the area of one of those triangles and multiply by five. Uh, you can do this for any regular shape. Just find the center, make the number of triangles, and multiply by the number of triangles once you find the area of one triangle. I'm going to use the formula here. So this is what it will look like. Using our 30, 60, 90, between the 90 and the 30 is the T root 3. The hypotenuse is 2T. And between the 60 and 90, the shortest side is T. So in this case, t root 3 is equal to 3. I'll divide both sides by root 3. And remember, we don't normally leave a square root in the bottom of a fraction. So we rationalize the denominator. We make a 1 with it. So this is 3 root 3 divided by root 3 times root 3 is root 9. But the square root of 9 is 3. These 3's cancel. And we can see that our t is root 3. Now that we have t, we can find the whole side. It's just two of those root 3's. So our area then is 1 half the apothem, 3, times the perimeter. And the perimeter, one side is six, 12, one side is 2 root 3, so 6 of those, 6 2 root 3's, would be 12 root 3. So this is 1 half of 36 root 3, 3 times 6 times 2, so that would be 18 root 3, and we always label meter squared.